This is the 12th video of the WordPress Speed Optimization 101 course. In this video, I'll show you how to host Google Fonts locally and load them efficiently. In the previous videos, we discussed how fonts play a crucial role in the LCP, FCP, and CLS metrics. On this website, I added two Google Fonts. One is for the title and another is for the paragraph. I performed a GT metrics and page speed insights test. Let me click on the waterfall tab. Now click on CSS. As we can see, here is a style sheet loading from the Google server. Now let me click on fonts. Here we can see two fonts, and these are loading from the Google server. Now let's look at the page speed insights results. The mobile score is 87. If you don't know how to use the page speed insights tool, I have a detailed video in the WordPress Speed Optimization 101 course. In the course, I have shown how to use the Page Speed Insights tool and understand the issues. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I forgot to mention an important thing. Let me share some of the most valuable resources with you. If you want to speed up your slow loading website for free, I have a couple of solutions. I'm offering WordPress Speed Optimization 101 course for free. The course contains plenty of videos that will help you speed up your website. You can join our dedicated community for free. Post your questions and I'll do my best to assist you. Finally, you can visit our website, click on audits, and in the form if you provide the required information, I will audit your website, highlight the issues that need to be fixed, and provide solutions. All right, back to the video topic. Let me scroll down and under diagnostics. The first issue is eliminate render blocking resources. And as we can see, there is a style sheet loading from the Google server. Note, every external request will add up to the page speed. Next is the largest contentful paint. Let me click on this image, as we can see. The largest contentful paint element is a text block, and this is a font loading from the Google server. The duration for the element to display is 2730 milliseconds. Next, avoid chaining critical requests. As we can see, three requests are coming from external domains. Always try to keep the requests low as the requests will impact the website's overall performance. If possible, avoid loading assets from external requests. Let's go back to the WordPress admin dashboard. Hover over plugins and click on add new plugin. In the search form, enter OMGF. And here is the OMGF plugin. Click on install now and then click on activate. The plugin is activated successfully. Now click on settings. If there are no conflicts, we will see no potential conflicts found in your configuration message. Now scroll down, here don't make any changes. Under font display option, by default we see swap selected. If we click on swap, there are other options. Next to swap, we see the recommended method and I prefer to select the swap option. There is another option, I'll show you that in a moment. Scroll down and here click on save and optimize. Here we see the optimization completed successfully message which means the Google fonts are now hosted on our server and the requests are not coming from Google servers. Now let me scroll down the page. As we see, ABZ and AR1 Sans fonts are hosted locally. Let's look at the page and see if the fonts are loading fine. Let me refresh the page. And as we can see, the same two fonts are loading on the website as earlier. When the swap attribute is used, you might encounter a flash of unstyled text issue. Basically, when the page loads, your system's fallback font will load. And once the font file is loaded, the font style will change. Let me show you an example. I'm playing this section of the video at slow speed, so you can understand what flash of unstyled text is. When I refresh the page, if you observe for a short time, a different font style is displayed. And later, the font style changes. If the style change happens briefly, there is nothing to worry about. But if the style change is visible to the human eyes, this won't look professional, and it might also cause CLS issues. Flash of unstyled text issues can be fixed by preloading the font file. Let me go back to the admin dashboard. Next to both the fonts, you see an option load early. When you enable this option, font files will preload, which will fix the flash of unstyled text issue. Two important things to consider before enabling this option. You must preload font files only if your website faces flash of unstyled text and you have to preload the font visible in the initial viewport. And don't preload all the fonts. For example, if you are using ABZ font for menu items and hero section text, then you have to enable load early for ABZ font. Sometimes you might have loaded a font that is not used on the website. In such a situation, you can choose don't load. And when don't load is enabled, the font won't load on the website front end. 
on this site, I'm using ABZ font for titles and AR1 Sans for paragraph text. For example, if paragraph text is not visible in the viewport, then don't preload AR1 Sans font file. Once you have made the required changes, click the Save and Optimize button. Let me perform another Page Speed Insights test. Wow. Before hosting the Google Fonts locally, the mobile score was 87. And after hosting Google Fonts locally, the mobile score increased to 98. Let me click on Eliminate Render Blocking Resources. As we can see, the request coming from the Google server is gone. Let's see how much time we save by hosting this request locally. When the request came from Google, it took 750 milliseconds to load. If you observe, this is the smallest file compared to all the requests here. Despite being a small file, it is the one that took the maximum time to load. Next is the largest contentful paint. When the font files were loading from Google, it took 2,730 milliseconds to load. Now let's see after results. Let me scroll down and here is the largest contentful paint element. As we can see here, the largest contentful paint element issue is fixed. Now it's taking 1,500 milliseconds to load, which is almost half the time compared to the results before. Note. Just because you see the largest contentful paint element here doesn't mean it needs to be fixed. If you only see a red warning triangle or an amber informational square, you need to address the issue. Next is avoid chaining critical requests. And as we can see, all three requests are coming from our server. I'm happy with these results. If you face any issues, post them on our community and I'll do my best to assist you. If you think the content you have watched till now is valuable, then this short video is a must watch for you. If you want to learn how to optimize a website efficiently, the ultimate speed optimization course is for you. Speed up your website, pass core web vitals and increase your business growth. This course is suitable for complete beginners, intermediates and advanced users. Here is a website that scored 16 on PageSpeed Insights and took 29.2 seconds to load. In just a few hours, the website scored a perfect 100 and loaded in just 174 milliseconds. Become a speed optimization expert and expand your portfolio. You are not just learning how to optimize websites. In the 100K Web Agency Mastery course, I'll show you how to find high paying clients, generate recurring revenue, etc. If you're wondering how much I charge for optimizing a website, the pricing starts at $500, which can go up to $30,000. I want to see you charge the same to your clients. By the end of this course, I want clients to search for you and not the other way around. The first 300 people who join the Ultimate Speed Optimization course will get a 100K Web Agency Mastery course worth $497 for free. Course links are in the video description and in the pinned comment area. Thank you for watching. If you want to see more such videos, like the video, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel and share the video with others. Sharing the video with others will help me get more views and motivate me to create more valuable videos to help you and others. We appreciate your support and look forward to having you in our community. I'll be back with another video soon. Till then, take care. Bye.